all of you today that is fish curry and the thing that is unusual about this recipe is i'm going to cook this curry with salmon fish yes you heard it right salmon fish the taste is just amazing beyond any other fish curry it has become one of my new favorites from here on and i'm going to share the step by step process of preparing salmon curry do try it and let me know your opinion on this but before we start my request to all of you is if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and subscribe now and click on the bell icon for all video updates also if you are interested watching gongura chicken curry that i have shared in my previous video the link is flashing on the top over here please click on to that if you are if you wanted to watch that or you may choose to stay here to see how do we prepare salmon fish so let's begin and see what is the method of preparing this curry Salmon fish fillets are cut into smaller pieces here. Let's marinate it with salt, turmeric powder and lemon juice. I am going to fry the marinated pieces immediately. You may also choose to rest it for about 15 minutes before you want to fry it. In a wok, take 1 tablespoon of mustard oil and shallow fry the marinated pieces. Flip it over and fry the other side. Once done, remove from the pan and next we are going to fry potatoes. Having potatoes in fish curry is absolutely optional. You may choose to skip it. Since we are done frying fish and potatoes, it's time to prepare masala. Drizzle 1 tablespoon of mustard oil and once the oil is hot, Add 1 teaspoon cumin seed, 1 big onion finely chopped. Give a quick stir and let it cook until the onion turns translucent. Looks like onions are cooked well. Go ahead and add tomatoes that are cut into small pieces. Also other powder spices like 2 teaspoon curry powder, 1 teaspoon chili powder, half a teaspoon turmeric powder. Give a quick stir, cover the lid and cook until tomatoes are nicely soft. The masala is already smelling super aromatic. This is where I am going to add 2 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste without which any Indian recipe is absolutely incomplete. Now we shall cook this until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste is gone. Fine, all the spices are nicely cooked. Let's add some crushed kasori methi. Also fried fishes and potatoes. Some salt as per your taste. Give a gentle mix. And do not forget to add a few curry leaves. This is the most essential ingredient which enhances taste of this recipe. As I am going to serve this curry with rice, I need to have gravy and for that I am going to add 1 cup of warm water. Give a gentle mix, cover the lid and let it cook in medium flame for about 10 minutes. Ten minutes later, I am going to check if potatoes are cooked. Looks like potatoes are nicely cooked and they are soft. Here I am going to sprinkle a bit of garam masala. Add handful of coriander leaves, give a gentle stir and here we go. The most delicious, amazingly tasty salmon fish curry is ready. Thank you. If you enjoyed watching this recipe, do not hesitate to like and share this video. I'll be back with one more interesting recipe. Until then, be safe, stay healthy and bye-bye.